We're at the 2010 Plug-In Conference, and we're with Mary Nickerson, Advanced Technology Toyota, and she's the national manager. Mary, tell us about all of the vehicles that you have coming out in the next five years. We're really pretty excited, Luann, because we have the Toyota Prius Plug-In coming out in 2012. We have an Urban City electric vehicle also coming out in 2012. And then you may have recently heard that uh, joint with Tesla, we have the intention to come to market with a RAV4 electric vehicle in 2012 also. And then in 2015, of course, we're very excited and working towards the goal of coming to market with a fuel cell vehicle. Let's go back to the, to the plug-in because it's not a full 100% pl uh, electric plug-in vehicle. It's a plug-in hybrid. Yes. The way that the Prius has been designed, it's a hybrid first, and it's built on its hybrid technology. Then the lithium-ion batteries have been added to it to give it an electric range to meet most people's daily driving. Um, for me, uh, I've been driving a plug-in for about six weeks, and I can basically go about 85% on all electric mode. Now the advantage is when I decide to take a road trip on the weekend, I'm in hybrid mode and I've got all the advantages of a hybrid vehicle. So. And in fact, you're getting about 50 miles to the gallon on a hybrid vehicle. Exactly. Right. So you combine that with your EV range where you're, uh, you know, you have the superiority of both an electric vehicle and a hybrid vehicle. And then the second one was the city car? The city electric vehicle. Yes. It's a it's an urban city vehicle. That's the one we'll be coming to market with in 2012. And that's the 100% plug-in electric. It's a 100% electric vehicle. Right. And you have to plug it in to, to get recharged. Yes. You've had a Rav4 electric vehicle before, and it really didn't go over so well. No, it didn't. Uh, the Rav4 EV, while there was lots of interest, very few people actually purchased or leased and that was when the lease price was exactly the same as a Prius. Right. So uh, um, for most people when they get down to it, a hybrid really matches their lifestyle better than an all-electric vehicle. Especially yeah. What's going to make this RAV4 electric vehicle that you're going to uh, work with Tesla on more attractive than the last one? Well, uh, of course, battery technology has come a long way since mm -hmm. 2002. Uh, and so I think we'll see lithium ion batteries versus nickel metal hydride in this RAV4. It'll be on the, um, high, on the electric train system, drivetrain system of uh, Tesla. So it's going to be a different setup. So we'll look forward to finding out um, when we get the prototypes towards the end of this year to seeing what kind of range that vehicle will have versus what we had in 2002. Will Tesla be producing it or will Toyota be producing it? I believe that Tesla is going to be producing it. A lot of those details are still being worked out, but it's our intention to bring it to market in 2012, so it's not very far away. Well, we look forward to hearing about it. Mary, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Luann.